does a two-foot retaining wall need drainage? If you're planning to build a retaining wall, especially one that's just two feet tall, you might be wondering if drainage is really necessary. Let's break it down to help you make an informed decision. First, let's talk about why drainage is important for any retaining wall. The main goal of a drainage system is to prevent water from accumulating behind the wall, which can lead to serious issues like soil erosion, reduced soil stability, and even structural failure of the wall itself. Water buildup can exert significant pressure on the wall, causing it to lean, bulge, or even collapse over time. For a two-foot retaining wall, while it may seem small, drainage is still crucial. Here's why. Water accumulation. Even a small wall can be affected by water accumulation. If the soil behind the wall is not properly drained, water can seep into the soil and cause erosion or instability. Soil type. If the soil behind your wall is clay or another type of poorly draining soil, you definitely need a drainage system. These soils can retain water, increasing the pressure on your wall. Climate. If you live in an area with heavy rainfall or rapid snowmelt, a drainage system becomes even more essential to manage the extra water. Common drainage methods. For a two-foot wall, you can use several simple yet effective drainage methods. Weep holes. These are openings in the wall that allow water to escape. For a small wall, weep holes spaced about one, two meters apart can be sufficient. Make sure they are slightly inclined downward to facilitate drainage. Drainage aggregate. Using a layer of free draining material like clean angular gravel or crushed stone behind the wall can help water move away from the structure. A minimum layer of about one foot thick is recommended. Filter fabric. Placing filter fabric above the drainage stone and below the topsoil prevents fine material and organic matter from clogging the drainage stone. Additional tips, backfill. Ensure the 12 inches of space behind the retaining wall is filled with crushed stone or gravel to aid in drainage. Drainage pipe. If your wall is in an area with poor draining soils or if it's part of a larger landscape design, consider installing a drainage pipe. For a small wall, this might not be necessary, but it's worth considering if you have specific drainage issues. In summary, while a two-foot retaining wall may seem small, it still benefits from a proper drainage system to ensure its longevity and stability. By incorporating simple drainage methods like weep holes, drainage aggregate, and filter fabric, you can significantly reduce the risk of water-related issues and keep your wall in good condition.